Gaza today, trapped, isolated, deprived. But did you know, this isn't the first time in history that an entire community has faced such harsh blockades? Stay with us as we draw powerful parallels between the situation in Gaza and the banishment of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to the valley of Abu Talib. The courage shown then is the same courage we see today. Let's take you back to the 7th century in Mecca. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his followers, were banished to a place known as the Valley of Abu Talib. This was a deliberate attempt by the Quraysh to break the spirit of the Muslims. For three years, the community was deprived of food, cut off from trade, and faced extreme isolation. The goal was simple, to force the Prophet to give up his mission. But what they didn't understand was the power of faith, resilience, and the will to stand for truth. Now, look at Gaza today. Over two million Palestinians are confined in a narrow strip of land, surrounded by walls and fences, with restricted access to food, medical supplies, and even clean water. The blockade on Gaza, like the siege of the valley, aims to bring an entire people to their knees. Yet despite the deprivation and hardship, the people of Gaza, like the early Muslims, stand firm in their faith and determination. In the valley of Abu Talib, the Muslims suffered starvation. They survived by eating leaves, relying on whatever meagre supplies they could find. Mothers watched their children cry from hunger, just as mothers in Gaza struggled to find enough food to keep their children alive. The harsh realities faced by the early Muslims echo through time, resonating deeply with the people of Gaza today. But through these dark days, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, remained steadfast. He offered his followers hope, reminding them that Allah was with them, that hardship would not last forever. It was his unshakable belief, his courage and his patience that kept the community united, even when everything seemed lost. And eventually, the boycott ended, and they emerged stronger, their faith unbroken. In Gaza today, we see that same spirit of resilience. Despite the blockade, despite the constant threat of violence, people continue to live, to hope and to rebuild. They find strength in their faith, in their unity, and in their refusal to give up. The people of Gaza, like the early Muslims, are showing the world that no matter how harsh the conditions, the human spirit cannot be broken. The story of the Valley of Abu Talib and Gaza is a story of patience, of faith, and of resilience against all odds. Just as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers stood strong in the face of deprivation, the people of Gaza continue to stand strong today. It is a reminder to us all that even in the darkest times, hope and faith are the most powerful tools we have. If you found this story inspiring, please share this video to spread awareness. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more stories of resilience, faith and hope. Let's keep these stories alive, and together, let's stand in solidarity with those facing injustice. Thank you for watching.